Alright, hey what's going on guys, Simmer Need here, and today we're reviewing the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod Part uh, 5, I think. I don't know, you can actually make like a whole 20 video, 30 video series on this freaking mod. But anyway, let's get right into it. So today, we are going to be doing a tutorial on the uh, machine turrets, or just turrets really. So yeah, we have all these turrets, and we're going to see how they affect the uh, witches that keep despawning. What the freak? I named, I think they're actually killing each other. Anyway. Let's make sure we have three in each. See, these people cannot get along very nicely at all. Be nice. I feel like they're all, what, what, there's like five over here. <laughs> you know what, whatever. Anyway. So, first things first, we have all these components in here. We have the uh, light machine gun turret, which gets the uh, light MG turret ammo box. We have the heavy machine gun turret, which gets the heavy MG turret ammunition. Then we have the flamethrower turret, which gets the uh, turret, the uh, flamer turret fuel tanks. We have rocket turret, ooh, very nice, which gets the uh, 2x4 uh, ammunition for the rockets. And we have the uh, Toyon, uh, or whatever, however you pronounce that, uh, turret. Which shoots these lovely uh, Todd turret to uh, uranium ambo uh, things. Then we have the Phallux uh, Mark 15 uh, CIWS. Which is probably like some military thing that I don't understand. But then we have we we also have a cheapo Gal, Gatling uh, ter, uh, Sentry, which is very nice. <coughs> so we have a uh, turret telemetry uh, <laughs> linker. Yes. So let's get these bad boys set up. I don't even know if we need this little card here, but I I guess we do actually. <laughs> okay. Alright, so basically you put this bad boy in here, and then you put your turn AI chip in here. Okay. And then we'll add that. But if you want to clear it, you're just going to put it in here, and it turns back into a normal AI chip. Uh, we're going to only do the a artificial intelligence uh, chip after we demonstrate all these. So you can control these manually by this turn controller here. Oh, freak, I forgot to get my ammo. <laughs> disregard, disregard. Brought my witch back up here. Alright, so first things first, you want to load this bad boy up. It's going to make a slight clicking noise. <laughs> it should make a slight clicking noise, but it's not working right now. But anyway, so basically you control it like this. You can control it like this, so you can be like... T -t 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 start shooting witches. <laughs> Really cool. This is the light uh, machine gun turret. Very nice. We're gonna hop over to this one, which is the heavy machine gun turret. This is, does a lot more damage, obviously. It also uh, doesn't shoot as fast, though. I'm not really good at aiming, but like that's beside the point. <coughs> See, that's why there's probably, like, you can use the AI chips in it. I think that works as well. Alright, next is the flamethrower turret. I don't even know if it's going to shoot that far. We'll find out, huh? Flamethrower turret. Now, this is not really good for far, like, things that are far away like that. I'll set that on fire, but, like, anything farther away doesn't even get close to it. It's quite a shame, really. Alright, next we have the rocket turret. <laughs> oh no. Alright, load this bad boy up. Should shoot a rocket. Hello? <clears throat> oh, well, shit. <laughs> Of course, now it worked. You know, mm. 
Disregard. Dis In hindsight, it's probably not best to use the rocket turret near anything that's your base. Like, if a mob spawns inside, it'll probably, like, blow up part of your base as well. Anyway, we, next we have the, uh, Taw Cannon. Or, Taw Turret. Tyon Turret. Anyway, we're gonna fill this bad puppy up. This, you know why there's a wall here? Because it can shoot through walls. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just shoots right through walls. Isn't that nice? I mean, it's nice until there's a mob inside your base and you're inside the base as well, which means you're going to get pretty toasted as well. Next, we have the, uh, this lovely bad boy. I have no idea what this does, honestly. Apparently, it's supposed to be, like, for anti-aircraft. So, anyway, if you have, like, any mobs that are flying in the air or something. I think it works for rockets, too. I'm not really sure. But this is not really for, uh... Anything that's on the ground. I can work for the ground. I think. Anyway. <clears throat> I killed off all of my witches. Here we go. You know, my witches have more health than I thought, honestly. <laughs> that's besides the point, anyway. You just go, uh... Yeah, well, it works decently okay. Yeah, no. It kind of sucks, honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, it'll probably work better for, like, stuff that's flying in the air. So, like, if you got a missile coming towards your base, that's probably what you would use it for. Anyway, next we have the Cheapo, uh, uh, Gatling turret sentry thing. Which we gonna go... Da -da 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 <laughs> Now what I want to do is we're going to test like a whole bunch of mobs against like a whole lot of these. We should actually do that. Anyway, we'll be back in one second. Alrighty, so we're back and we have so many zombie spawners it's not even funny. Anyway, we're going to see if um, this freaking lovely, these uh, lovely turrets can handle a mass invasion. Alright, anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, turn AI chip. Which means it will automatically have its own artificial intelligence, which means it's going to start shooting stuff. Alright, so first things first. I think it's actually so close that you can't, like, they can't even shoot. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, we're not loading that one up, just because, oh, that one's, <laughs> okay, well, that's not going to help our vil poor villager any, oh, boy. Alright. I'm not even loading up the rocket, because it's just going to blow up everyone else. <laughs> My villager is probably going to die anyway, to be honest. <laughs> How is it not shooting this one? sucks. Anyway, holy crap. They are doing quite a good job, I think. <coughs> what the frick is this? <coughs> Put a villager in here. How she knows? So close that they came and chewed it to death anyway. Nice. I think it's actually trying to kill it, though. <laughs> No, there's zombies behind it. Okay, now nah, that's that's how it's yeah, that's how it's working. Holy crap! It's a wasteland, practically. I mean, they're getting close, but like, okay, actually, yeah, they're getting really close. I think they're these are out of ammo, actually. More ammo, more ammo. Uh, crap. That's the only th bad thing about it, is get, you gotta keep reloading the ammo. 
which kind of sucks. Ah, and this is our next tab we're going to do. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we have these turns, too, but they're for a different mod. All right. You are not doing your jobs, honestly. Okay, it's getting to be quite the shit storm. That would be a better idea than to have like just some here, just to have some all around. Okay, yeah, the villager died. <laughs> Oof. That's funny, honestly. Alright, yeah. Hmm. You notice how that, uh, this is not doing anything? I don't know if I this is like, just... Yeah. I think it just doesn't work with the... Let's fire a missile, actually. Let's see if it works for a missile. <coughs> if it works with a missile, I swear. I feel like it would actually because that's why I think that's what it's designed for it's quite hectic holy shit uh, if there was a way to like actually just like if there was like a UI that you could just click on it and just add like stacks of ammo that'd be awesome honestly All right, so we're gonna actually launch a rocket, and we're gonna see if it actually can destroy. Like, if the uh, we're just gonna go with the DPM missile. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, freak! Stop trying to smoke me. All right, so we got. Nope. We're gonna put it a little farther. So we got our target designator. Oh, just the spark. <laughs> it looks like something, but I don't know what. Alright, so we're gonna have it launching it here. Are we gonna see if these two little uh, weird little boys actually start shooting it? Because I think that's what they're designed to do, but I'm not really sure. So we're gonna test it. Because testing is the way, honestly. This is way more power than we need, honestly. Unless we're gonna send off like 15 missiles. Alright, EPM missile going in. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, oh what? It actually did. They actually did. Holy shit. <laughs> it freaking blasted that motherfucker. Let's do a uh, thermonuclear one. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, worst comes to worst, our whole entire uh, map gets destroyed. That's really awesome, though. Like, it literally just shot it out of the air. Like, nope, I'm not having your crap today. It did it again! <laughs> Ain't that nice, honestly. Wow. It's, it's like literally a worst. Oh! It drops the components of the freaking, uh, the missile, too, I think. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's actually really nice, honestly. Oh, freak. It's a war zone, practically. <laughs> that's actually really cool, though. Like, those are actually, like, anti-missile uh, defenses. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they are in real life, but I'm just kind of dumb, honestly. <laughs> Let's do a black hole missile. Oh, it drops a black hole grenade. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's actually really nice, honestly. It drops, like, some of the components of the missile. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I know what I'm defending my base with next time, honestly. Look at these little bad boys and go. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> with a quite quite a bit of chaos. I mean, actually, like what I would do if I had these in my base is I'd have the uh, these bad boys like sitting right on top of my base. <laughs> Ain't nothing getting close with these bad boys. Just keep loading it. Oh god, that's so painful. Honestly. <laughs> my my computer's lagging right now. It's like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I wonder if I could do more than one missile. Shoot, I dropped the uh spark thingy. <coughs> I'm getting curious, and curiosity is not a good thing. Oh. Just imagine, if I was getting spot- oh, frick. If I was getting sponsored by somebody, that'd be so- that'd be such- that'd be so funny. Alright, let's see here. Let's set this bad boy up. We're gonna see if we can do two missiles at once. Nope, wrong place. <coughs> That's also the wrong place. Holy shit. Okay. I got the uh, frick. I need that. Give me it. Give me it. Nip. Yep, thank you. Okay. Short range target designator. All right, man. I wish I knew this before, honestly. All right, we're gonna do two thermo. Okay, we're gonna do a thermonuclear and endothermic missile. I feel like I could shoot these because they ain't gonna spoil the next video. Because honestly, it's uh, not gonna. It's not gonna really explode. It's not gonna even get a chance. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make sure these things are actually loaded up because I feel like <laughs> it would be bad. So our next video is actually gonna be uh, just the irregular missiles and stuff. Which is very nice. Alright, get ready. See, yeah, they're ready. They're like, ooh. Kim Jong Un intensifies. All right, two at once. Holy shit! Oh, it just freaking knocked. Oh crap! It knocked both of them out. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Honestly, this is literally a war zone right here. Like, tch. wow! I can't believe it actually took two of them one at the same time though. That's pretty freaking cool, honestly. Anyway, this th that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, frick, I just tossed the, uh, oh, crap. Black holes. Nope, oh, where's the black holes at? Okay. Oh, there they are. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.